What do you want? My name's Josh. I'm doing a story for the paper about the black bears that keep eating our garbage. Did they ever come around here? Yeah, just look over there, kid. Wow, look at them tear into that stuff. Yeah, once you get a taste for this stuff, keep coming back. They really love this stuff. I guess they're not the only ones. Hey. So, uh, aren't you worried working around them? Nah, they're not so bad. As long as you keep your distance and leave them alone. I don't know. They're as cute and cuddly as the one I have. I mean, the one I used to have when I was a kid. These ones kind of look dangerous. Black bears naturally fear people, but as they learn to associate them with an easy food source, they begin to lose that fear and become a possible danger. Maybe I really should go and talk to an expert. to run. I have a client here. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm Josh. Hi, Josh. Nice to meet you. So, you'd like to learn something about black bears? Yeah. Well, in the province of Ontario, we estimate there are 75 to 100,000 black bears. 100,000? Yeah. They are very intelligent and powerful animals who generally live in forested areas. Their only natural enemies are humans, wolves, and other bears. Wolves? Yeah. Uh, an adult male can weigh anywhere from 120 to 280 kilograms and measure up to two meters from the tip of its nose to the tip of its tail. When they stand on their hind legs, well, just come with me and you can see for yourself. Okay. Wow! Is that thing real? Sure is. So, if their natural home is the forest, what are they doing hanging around town? To understand that, we need to know a little bit about black bear ecology. Their biggest challenge to survival is finding enough food. Because they spend half of the year sleeping in their dens, they've only got six months to eat enough to sustain them for the whole year. And, although bears are omnivorous, that isn't always an easy thing to do. Omnivorous? What's that? It means that they eat both plants and animals. For example, in the spring, a black bear will feed on fresh greens, insects, fish, and even newborn fawns if they can find them. In the summer and fall, they eat mostly berries, nuts, and wild apples. Okay, but what does that have to do with us? Well, nature isn't always as generous as, let's say, our kitchens. Bears can't count on the fridge being full all the time. For example, in some years, if the weather is poor, there may not be any berries. And even though black bears have a great sense of smell and will travel as far as 100 kilometers to find their natural foods, if they can't find any, they will go after things not intended for them. You mean like the garbage in the dump, or even in town? Exactly. And because they have such great memories, once they have discovered an easy food source, they'll just keep coming back year after year. Ah, uh, speaking of year after year, I've got to go. My dad and I have our annual camping trip tomorrow, and I have to get ready. That was great, though. Thanks. Good night, Dad. Good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody here? <laughs> Looks like you had a late night visitor. No. The hot dog. The gummy bear. Aww. 
What are we going to eat now? What's going on out here? Well, sir, you're camping in bear country. And in bear country, there's certain rules you just have to follow. Bear, bear country? Yes, bear country. You see, bears and humans often enjoy the same types of habitat. Many of the rural areas that we live are home to bears. In parks like this, we'll just look at the signs. Signs? What signs? Yeah, there aren't any signs. Actually, they're all over. Here, let me show you. The most obvious signs left by a black bear are its tracks and scat, which is another word for feces. You could also see turned over rocks and logs, torn up stumps, and claw marks on trees. So now that we know what to look for, what should we have done? Actually, the rules are quite simple. Always keep your campsite clean, store your food in sealed containers out of bear's reach, and above all, never keep food in your tent. Aha! All is not lost. You were lucky this time. Just because you don't see any black bears or signs of black bears doesn't mean they're not around. In fact, one could be watching us right now. But don't worry, black bears are generally pretty shy and try to avoid people. It's just that if you leave food lying around, well, it's an invitation they can't refuse. Tell me about it. To avoid bear encounters, food and garbage should be properly stored and kept either in the trunk of your vehicle or hung between two trees at least four meters off the ground. Garbage and food scraps can also be thoroughly burned in a campfire. Okay, so I know the signs, and I know how to make our campsite less attractive to them, but what if a bear comes anyway? Let's say I'm walking around the forest looking for bugs or something, and I come around the corner and there's a big old bear in front of me. Should I A, quietly ask him to go away, B, run like I've never run before, C, climb the first tree I come to. D, play dead. Or E, all of the above. Actually, if it's a black bear, none of the above. You see, they don't understand our language. They run better and climb better than we do. And they don't mind chewing on a dead thing every now and then. What you should do, well, that depends on the situation. If the bear is just minding its own business, then leave it alone and slowly back away from it. And whatever you do, do not run. If you're near a car or a building, then get inside and wait until the bear leaves the area. If the bear approaches you, do not run. Stop, face the bear, and make sure it has an escape route. And then yell and wave your arms, making yourself as big and as scary as you can. Go on, bear. Get out of here. Go on. The more noise you can make, the better. Give the bear some space. If the bear doesn't scare off, then slowly back away, watching it the whole time. Be sure that your path is clear so that you don't trip and fall. Bear cubs are rarely far from their mother, so do not approach them. The mother may protect her young if she feels they are threatened. When a black bear feels threatened, it will usually give warning signals. 
It may also just stand up on its hind legs to get a better look at you or smell you better. Warning signals include making huffing or popping sounds, swatting or beating the ground, or even bluff charging. These are clear signs that you are too close, so back away. If you're carrying pepper spray, be sure that you know how to use it properly, and then only use it if the bear comes into range. Now, on the very rare occasion that a black bear does attack, fighting back is the best strategy. Use a stick, a rock, or anything else you have to hurt the bear and persuade it to back off. Never, ever turn and run. Hey Josh, there's someone at the door for you. Ready? Yeah, this is going to be great. So are we going to have to shoot it? No, we only do that as a last resort. Actually, a lot of bear problems can be solved just by removing the things that are attracting them. You mean like our garbage? Yes, but not only the garbage. Bears are also attracted to pet food, bird feeders, greasy barbecues, actually any readily accessible source of food. So, Say we take away all the yummy food in the neighborhood and I still see a bear. What then? Call us and report it, or if it's an emergency, call the police. And what would you do? Well, that depends. You have to remember that just because we're in town doesn't mean we aren't in bear country. If the bear is just passing through your backyard, well, that's generally not a problem. It's only when a bear starts to associate people with an easy meal or when it presents a substantial threat that we have to do something. In that case, we would first try and persuade it to leave on its own using a number of different non-lethal techniques. Non-lethal methods are used to teach black bears to stay away from people and their property by re-establishing the bear's natural wariness of humans. And if these techniques don't work, we would probably try capturing it. Wow, so you captured this guy. Cool. So what happens to him now? Well, we're gonna release him far away from here where he's not a problem to anybody. Awesome. Well, let's go. Although relocation is sometimes used in managing bears, it is only partially successful. Often, black bears who have become used to people will return and repeat their nuisance behavior. These bears may end up paying with their lives. Good luck, boy. Admire them, respect them, learn more about them.